My name's Jim Butter and I'm the head grounds person here at the RFU. I'm here managing a team of four. Uh, we're here to look after the day-to-day -day maintenance of the Twickenham pitch and surrounding areas. It's a 24-7, 365 day a year operation. We have the match day buzz as we call it. One of the beautiful things about grass and turf especially is you can put the hard work in and actually see the results, which is uh, uh, very, very satisfying. So we've actually got Hundle mowers here, which we use certainly post-match and at certain times during the year when the weather's not very favorable, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, there's a great finish as well. Been using Honda mowers for over 20 years and I've got one of those for my own lawn at home. I've got three children. I love the fact that we've got a lawn that they can play on, so they play football. We try and spend as much time as we can out there and we do a bit of a spring clean, first cut on the lawn, um, potting plants and trying to get the whole um, lawn and garden prepped ready for us to start to enjoy during the warmer months. Obviously grass requires temperature, water, food. It needs those crucial elements to be able to grow. Uh, I do try and make sure that the lawn is as good as it can be for the family to enjoy it um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't leave it for long periods of time without mowing because uh, that's when you start to get real stressed grass. Um, if you're maintaining it and growing quite quickly, you want to mow regularly uh, to make sure you keep a nice lawn. Having the right mower is essential for um, looking after your lawn. Sharp blades, being reliable, and then it's going to have a really good quality cut. It is important to know the different settings. If you've got kids that are wanting to play sport, then you want to probably raise the higher cut. And then obviously if you're hosting and you've got friends coming around for a barbecue, you can cut back down a little bit. Um, and we've recently got a dog, so we were able to have a dog that can quite comfortably run around. It's very much just a case of just getting an idea of what the weather's doing. Ideally during the growing season, you want to do it at least once a week. I have a Honda at home, um, the beauty of it is it's reliable. Once you've finished your growing season and you've cleaned your mower down and you've maintained it and then stored it, um, it's, it's never missed a beat. Every time I've took it out and started, uh, started it up, it's, it's gone first time um, and it does a great finish. I, I do literally go and sit out at the end of the day, I'll have a sit down on the step in front of the, uh, in front of the lawn and I'll crack open a bottle of beer and I will uh, enjoy exactly that, a job well done.